you don't plan on being in full-fledged combat or getting in the ring, but we can certainly learn from people that have faced multiple violent encounters and do our best to mitigate and prevent everything in front, but sometimes it's taken out of your hands and it's great to have a 90% solution, but you need to have that 10% solution for when it's a worst case scenario. A million dollar FBI study found out is that you need a high level of physical fitness. When you are in better shape, it makes you harder to kill. It just does. When you walk into a place, be nice, smile, learn everybody's names, and have a plan to kill everybody in the room. <laughs> if this happens today, this is what I'm going to do. And when you see an individual that is a potential threat, and you say, well, if this person does this, I'm gonna cross the street. I'm gonna choose to avoid. You're doing, you're using cognitive rehearsal to know what to do when it happens. Really the whole point of that is when you decide to take responsibility for your safety and the safety of others, uh, it's a huge responsibility and you need to make sure that you're training yourself, inoculating yourself with the mental stress.